haven't got enough coupons. And I've got to have a few for towels and things for the house. Perhaps we can help you. And who may you be? Your old clothes, put away and forgotten. This is one of those films that makes me smile. It's a newsreel trailer made by the Ministry of Information in 1943 and it's all about make, do and mend. This was a government campaign urging people to repair, reuse and reimagine their existing clothes because it wasn't just food that was rationed in the Second World War. From June 1941, buying new clothes was rationed too. The cinema audiences who would have watched this before the main feature started would probably have groaned inwardly at the sight of the ration books. They symbolised sacrifice. There was a real scarcity of new clothes because fabric was needed elsewhere for uniforms and the general war effort. Many in the cinema audience would have identified with a very glum looking family who appear in this film, visibly fed up with their limited clothing coupons which just won't buy them enough. Not to worry though, because here come the family's old clothes, talking and moving no less, to save the day. For instance, I could make a smart costume for the young lady. Something very stylish in coat frocks for madam. Well, if the youngster wants some shorts, I don't mind being cut down. And we'll join forces and make John a new sweater. Three boy shirts out of us. My wedding dress. I'd like to be in my dress and panties. Well, folks, what are you waiting for? A lot of people didn't like the rhetoric of make, do and mend, and they felt quite daunted by it. And there is an undercurrent of that running throughout the film. I can't help but smile at the blank expression on Mother's face as her clothes throw down the gauntlet and try and reassure her that it's really quite easy when you know how. Well, but... I've never turned a pair of trousers into a skirt in my life. Never mind. It's quite easy to do. Ask at your technical institute. We know that Make Do and Mend classes and groups did spring up all over the country as people tried to help each other. The whole thing is deliberately playful and we see that playfulness replicated in many posters and leaflets as well which also promoted Make Do and Mend. The government had been genuinely concerned that if the people of Britain had let standards in appearance slip, it might be seen as a sign of low morale, of just giving up, and that would have been bad for the war effort. And that's what I like about this film. There's an acknowledgement that these times are hard on the home front. A lot is being asked of people, but it's not a lecture. It's a strangely uplifting call to action, to encourage ingenuity and creativity, to bring some smiles back on faces. And I think it encapsulates brilliantly that wartime spirit of pluck. All you need to get through this, we're told, is a bit of imagination and a little help from your friends. There's probably a local make-do-and-mend class where you can learn. Or why not get together with your friends and form a make-do-and-mend group? Then you can all help each other. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing our archive footage. Just a reminder, please do subscribe to IWM's YouTube channel for more archive films and lots more.